What is going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to just make a fun video because as I was scrolling on Reddit, I was expecting doom posts and negativity. But what do I find here? The new Lost Ark Reddit meta where they start making up meme stories about the Blooming Makoko event. If you have been living under a rock, we have the Blooming Makoko event going on. You can check my video in the description out for tips on that, by the way. But essentially, what the biggest problem with this event is its variance. The people who find the correct Makokos get a massive reward, while a majority of other players don't get anything. Sorry, I shouldn't say anything. You get an amazing 300 bound gold, or if you are that unlucky, like 2,000 worth of silver for your troubles. Especially when the notifications are blasting at the center of your screen every other hour, it gets demoralizing pretty quickly for a lot of people, especially because you can't turn it off. So let's read some of these posts. Lumi Makoko event is going to end my relationship. Today marks the day of my boyfriend, sure you have a boyfriend, getting his third lucky Makoko while I got zero. Having friends getting them isn't as bad, but hearing his hysterical cackling from the room over while I sit and open silver makoko after silver makoko with a hint of few gold coins is really making me wonder if I want to stay in this toxic household. So you see what I mean? People are kind of salty about not getting the gold rewards because of how much gold other people are winning. So this is a really funny comment or not, not comment post. But funny comments as well, but we won't read any of the comments. Let's just move on because I have more. And I also wanted to talk about the psychology behind this stuff, as you can kind of see here. So we'll talk about the psychology afterwards. Second post, seven hours ago. So this was the first post. This is the second post. Booming Makoko event has turned my girlfriend into a monster. Today marks the day that my girlfriend went nuts. Maybe she was always cray cray, cray cray. Probably because I've dropped three lucky Makokos and her zero. So this is referencing this post. Having friends getting them isn't as bad, she says. But hearing her hysterical crying and whining from the room under while I sit... Wait, what? Under? While I sit and open gold Makoko after gold Makoko with a hint of few silver coins, cackling nonstop is really making me wonder if I've gone too far. She stopped doing laundry, stopped cooking, stopped hugging, kissing, and even this. I've also noticed on my account that she has changed my Chaos Dungeon rating presets, stolen, fused, and or rerolled some of my gems. I don't know how long I can stay in this toxic relationship. So I think this part is referencing one of these comments here. Yep. <laughs> so the top comment is referencing that. So, you know, we're having a good time over here at the Lost Ark Reddit. I really like this so far. Let's let's keep moving on. So this was six hours ago. So an hour later after that post. As an innocent dog living with this couple, I am not a fan of the Bloomy Makoko situation. So we're talking in the dog's POV now. I watch them from my cozy spot on the rug. My humans, him and her, arguing again over that flashy, glowing thing they stare at all the time. The Blooming Makoko Whatever it is, it's got her all mad at him lately. He's been grinning like a fool. I think he was cackling, though, to be fair. Hitting the gold jackpot over and over, while she's barely gotten a sniff of it. Very nice. Now their voices are tense, and I can feel the awkward energy filling the room. Every time he wins, her uh, he wins, her face scrunches up more, and I think, why don't we just go for a walk or chase a ball instead? This whole thing has turned my peaceful home into a stressful battleground. Oh no, poor puppy. Honestly, I'm starting to consider packing up my chew toys and finding somewhere less dramatic. Aw, oh, poor dog. You are indeed innocent. Well, I don't, I don't know if you're actually innocent, but oh boy. Oh, <laughs> uh, is this going to reference this? Let's see this next post. So this was an hour later. This blooming event, or I guess event, has been great. I met a girl because her ex was getting lucky Makokos and she wasn't. During a late night blooming session, we were all chatting before and after the event. And this girl kept bemoaning about how she wasn't getting any lucky seeds. 
but that her boyfriend had gotten so many. He wasn't rating as much, so in turn, she wasn't as well. I was in a good mood, having just gotten a lucky seed, so I offered a free carry with my breaker through Daymine. Of course, you're a breaker. Just to be nice, a sidereal energy drop for her. Woo! Let's go! Finally, the girl's getting something here. She was ecstatic. Since then, we have been talking all the time. Uh-oh. And she had been getting flirtier with me and added me on Snapchat. That's GG, guys. You get added on Snapchat, game over. I wasn't asking, but she has been saying about how her boyfriend never gave her a carry. And she has been thinking about leaving him. I kind of feel bad for him, and I haven't been encouraging her to leave him or talking bad about him. But the attention has been nice, and now she is asking if we can do a chaos dungeon together. The plot thickens. I agree with you. This is an interesting story, dude. I, I am so invested into this story. I can't believe it. All right, moving on to one hour ago. Makoko Seed Lives Matter 2. Hello, everyone. I am a Makoko Seed. Okay, so now we're on the Makoko's point of view. And I just wanted you to know we don't enjoy this event just as much as you guys. We're taken from our homes. Our families, some of us have children, just to get ripped apart for some gold and silver every other hour. I mean, poor Jeffrey, man. He just won the gold lottery and could finally get out of the slums just to be picked apart by some guy. All I'm saying is that we witness hardships too. Thankfully, I only contain 63 gold, so I should be fine. I mean, 63 bound gold. Don't forget about the bound part. But man, dude, <laughs> what's next, guys? I mean, after this video, maybe another post is going to happen with a different POV. I'm truly invested into this story, but let's get into the psychology of it. So I am not a psychology major by any chance. I did take one in college, but that's besides the point. So my trusty old chat GPT got me covered. So it told me a bunch of psychological effects of why people are feeling frustrated and i thought it was fair to kind of talk about it so the first one is variable ratio reinforcement or schedule in this case this is a schedule of reinforcement this is chat gpt talking by the way where rewards are given after an unpredictable number of actions it's similar to how slot machines work you keep picking makoko seeds hoping for a reward but the rewards are infrequent and unpredictable. This type of reward schedule can create strong motivation, but also leads to frustration or disappointment when people repeatedly get nothing. So in this case, there is just a random chance and you don't know exactly when you will hit the win. Maybe you won't win the win at all, but most likely due to law of large numbers, you probably will hit a reward at one point right there's a month and if you're doing it daily surely as long as you're not unlucky you will eventually hit at least one there's a very high chance but you don't know when this is basically saying well that's it right it's not fixed it's variable so you don't know when it's going to happen that's frustrating the second thing that chat gpt mentions is loss aversion so this is a key concept in behavioral economics which suggests that people feel the pain of losing or winning nothing, in this case, more strongly than they feel the pleasure of winning. Now, I'm not saying people who are winning are not feeling pleasure. They are. Of course, you're feeling pleasure. But I feel like in this case, people are feeling the actual pain of losing. People who win nothing experience a more intense negative emotional reaction even if the possibility of a winning big exists. That's what loss aversion is. This, the third thing that ChatGPT mentions is the near miss effect. This is a cognitive bias where individuals feel that they almost won, right? You're picking the next Makoko seed. The next Makoko seed's gonna be the one. The, no, 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 wait, the next Makoko seed's gonna be the one. Keep going on with that. And they'll continue to participate. No, surely tomorrow is going to be the next one. Tomorrow. This next Makoko seed, it goes on and on. Because they believe they are close to success. This can obviously 
lead to frustration or even compulsive behavior as people believe the next Makoko seed will be the winning one. And finally, the power of random reinforcement. This refers to a system where rewards are randomly distributed, right? So it's supposed to be fair, but it often leads to a feeling of unfairness or frustration for those who don't win. People who don't win often feel slighted or unlucky, even though the system is random and equally fair to all participants. Like there's an example right here, I believe. Where is it? Um, oh, right here. Slot machine reward. But wait, there's an even wider application. Whenever you know that you can gain a reward, but aren't sure if you will actually get it, you will be excited. Assuming you care about the reward. I mean, we all care about the reward. It's a gold reward. All right. Anyway, those were four psychological things that ChatGPT mentioned, and they're true. Like I mentioned, the variance is too high. And I feel like that's part of where this frustration came. But I'm really happy that the frustration and the negative energy is turned into positive energy. These are the types of posts I want to see on our Reddit. Not any doom posts and negativity anymore. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. I just wanted to make this video because it was fun and I'm enjoying making videos for you all. If you guys are enjoying, make sure to check out all my other videos. But until then, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.